Morning family, this is Ricky and welcome to Hope for Today. And I am praying that today truly, as we go through the word of God, brings you a renewed sense of hope in our salvation that we have in Jesus Christ. I wanna talk to you from Psalm 51. Let's just look at the first couple of verses. David here has written a song to kind of bring words to what was going on in his life after he had committed a grievous sin by having an affair with a gal named Bathsheba and trying to cover it up by having her husband killed. It is literally the worst moment in his life and the biggest mistake he ever made. And this is what he said. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. And if you follow Psalm 51, if you've ever read it, he basically goes on echoing the lament that he has for his sin and his mistakes yet continually repeating and rehearsing the goodness of God and the grace of God, even in the context of his sin. And I think it's a good reminder for you and I today. I'm just reminded, man, like no matter how strong you get in the Lord, no matter how much Bible you've read, no matter how much small group you've attended, no matter how many Bible studies you've undertaken, no matter how much you've prayed, at the end of the day, sin is still present with us and we're gonna have a life whereby we make some mistakes. Can I get an amen right there? Doesn't matter how long you've been in church, no matter how good a person you are, you'll still have that scuffle where, man, I said something that I wish I could take back. You'll still have that, that error that you made even when you were trying to do your best. And to be sure, when sin is really kind of starting to run rampant in our lives, we can sometimes find ourselves on tumultuous downturns where before we know it, there's been a whole week where we've transgressed from God or a whole month or a whole season, some of us a whole year. And we don't say that to judge anybody. I've done that, you've done that, all of God's children have done that. But you've got to remember, this is why we call the gospel the good news. Romans 5, 8 says it this way, that when we were yet in our sin, Christ died for us, which means Jesus did what he did for us, not because we were sinless, but because we were sinful and would never be able to fix it on our own. And one of the things the believer has to do that on this side of faith and still yet making mistakes every now and then, you got to remember that that grace is still applied to your life, baby girl, baby boy. That Jesus' forgiveness and Jesus' re renewal and restoration is eternally available to us. And this is what David is relishing in, this fact that even though he's committed the sin, that he knew better than, and he knew he was wrong, and he knew he wasn't supposed to be like this, but he understands that just because he sinned doesn't mean that God gave up on him. And he understand that just because he made a mistake didn't mean it was the end of his life, but there was hope and there was grace because God is a God who forgives. And so if that's you today, made a mistake, whether great or small, you have the opportunity to say, Lord, have mercy on me according to your steadfast love and blot out my transgressions. Take your sins to the cross and leave them there. That's hope for today. I'll see you next time.